Hello, my name is Brian Jepson, Automation Engineering Supervisor in the Advanced Technical Center at Omron. In this video, I'll be showing you how to properly set up and start using Omron's V440 code reader, which is built to read multiple codes, small codes, and distant codes easily. This product is suitable for the semiconductor industry, where it can read many tiny codes on components in a tray. It is also useful for the logistics industry, where it can read codes from a pallet full of boxes in one read. It can also be helpful in situations where you need the code reader to be located distance from the code. This may be because you need room for an operator or robot to maneuver, or you may be retrofitting a design that doesn't have room for a traditional code reader. This is the V440 code reader. If you want to mount the 440 using quarter 20 screws, install the option mounting bracket, V440 AM zero. Attach it to the camera using the four flathead screws that are provided. You will need a two millimeter hex key to tighten the screws. <clears throat> if a NER light is used, attach the light bracket. There are two light brackets depending on your light. Use the V440 AM1 bracket if you're using a 70 millimeter near light and use the V440 AM2 bracket if you're using a 100 millimeter light. Mount the light brackets to the V440 using the supplied button head screws. And again, tighten with a two millimeter hex key. <clears throat> Before attaching the light, remove the lens cap from the V440. It's difficult to remove once you get the light installed. <clears throat> Attach the near light. using the supplied flathead screws. Again, using the two millimeter hex wrench. Refer to your data sheet for guidance on light selection. The light selection will be based on what lens size you're using. Attach the cable strain relief using the supplied button head screws. You want to position the strain relief flush with the insulation on the cable. Again, we're using the same two millimeter hex wrench. Screw your lens into place. See the V40 data sheet for guidance on lens selection. Now, if you're using the NER light, you're going to want to use the YIO cable. You have Two connections here. The one with fewer connections is the one that goes to light, or more is the one that goes to the camera. So I put the one with more into the camera first. You just gently rotate until you feel it pop in, and then screw it in place. You may have to push in the cable as you go. <clears throat> Repeat the same thing for the light cable. See the V40 uh, data sheet for various cabling options. 
Okay, now you attach your flying lead cable to your Y cable. And same thing, you rotate till you feel it mates up and then screw in. And the other end of your flying lead cable, you want to connect your brown wire to the positive 24 volt supply and the blue wire to the negative. <clears throat> the ethernet cable, you simply press into the ethernet port. until it clicks. <clears throat> if you're not using an light and you want to use power over Ethernet, you can connect it other than your cable to either a PoA NIC, a PO injector, or a PO switch. If you're not using power over Ethernet or PoE, connect directly to your computer. You can now mount your V40 to your equipment. Once you have the V40 powered and connected to your computer, you can start your web browser. In your web browser, enter the V440's address. The default address is 192.168.188.2. Omron web link will automatically start. Once the camera interface loads, select Assisted Setup. The most commonly codes are already selected. You can change these selections if you want. You also specify how many codes you want to read and the type of trigger. There's Continuous Trigger, Triggered, and Start Stop. You can also change the name of your reader. When you're done, click Create Setup. You now want to focus your lens. If your lighting is not right to start off with, in this case it's too bright, you select the, the quick photometry selection. and It'll automatically change the intensity. Then, click live, live video, and you can zoom in using the wheel on your mouse to get a better focus. Then you adjust the focusing lens for the sharpest image. You can zoom back out and turn off live view. Click on the same button again. And now the V440 is reading codes. Now currently, we are running about 260 uh, milliseconds for a code read. We can, through some optimization, do a much faster read than that. The first and most important thing is, is to shrink down your window so we're not searching the entire image for the uh, code. So click the window button and then you can adjust the window using the dots. Make sure that you leave a lot of white space around your code. That's uh, necessary to read the code properly. When you're done, you can select the window button again. And I'm just going to zoom back in. And now click this button on the right to optimize the speed. And when optimization is complete, you can now see that we are operating around 35 milliseconds for code read, so significantly faster. And now you're all set up and ready to go. That concludes this video. For more information on the V440 code reader, please visit our website at automation.omron.com or look us up at YouTube under Omron Automation Americas. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it was helpful to you.